Hello everyone, I'm Gavin from Sonoscape. Today I'm delighted to give you an introduction of HD500 video endoscope system. I do hope that my presentation will give you a better understanding of our product. As we know, HD500 is our high-end model. The standard configuration includes five main parts, which are LCD monitor for medical use, multifunctional trolley, image processor, light source, and endoscope itself. Generally speaking, the HD500 system has three biggest features. At first, for the endoscope itself, it adopts high-definition CMOS technology to ensure the clarity and sharpness of the image. Six different sizes in working lens and instrument channel diameter can well be used for common diagnosis and therapeutics. All the GI endoscopes are with auxiliary work jet function. And second, for the image processor, it is equipped with 500 gigabyte storage of built-in workstation, which can provide an intelligent solution for saving images, recording the videos, and editing the reports. And the third feature is about the light source. The light source was equipped with 300 watts xenon lamp, can provide sufficient illumination, and the VISTA function, VIST technology, is an effective way to detect the early cancer. Now, let's take a look at the main functions of image processor. Long press the white balance, make the white balance automatically, while customer 1 or 2 means load preset parameter of customer 1 or customer 2, while RST means restore customer parameter to factory defaults. For the blue line of the functions, we're gonna explain it one by one. Iris is to avoid overexposure and darkness and improve the contrast re resolution. It has three modes, peak, average, and auto. Usually, doctors prefer auto mode, so we just keep both icon on. Zoom is for image magnification. We can make it for four times at maximum, but usually two times for digital magnification is enough for clinical application. Enhancement has three modes. It can increase image sharpness. Color enhancement is mainly for the color of hemoglobin. It will enhance the contrast between red and white color. Long press this icon will stop the information transmission between USB drive and device. And then let's take a look at of the light source. The light source provides light and air. Air to enable air feeding function, while level to adjust air feeding pressure. Click the lamp to turn on main lamp, while long press it to turn off the lamp. It has two ways to adjust the brightness, auto and manual. We usually make it auto. Filter can enable and disable VISTA function. VISTA is a chrome endoscopy technology developed it by Sonoscape, can provide perfect contrast of image and will enhance the structure of mucosa and submucosa. Trans means the transparency function. It can make the light reach its maximum and last for 7 seconds. While CLR means clear, it can clear up the serving life of the xenon lamp. Okay, finally, we will talk about how to customize the system settings and how to deal with the report edition and printing. First, for the customizing the system, we will press F1 on the keyboard to enter the set interface. In this interface, four of the tape pages are available. 
the video parameter page is displayed by default. You can select F1 to F4 to switch between those different pages. For video parameters, in this page, you can select the primary video output type and usually we will make it DVI plus VGA. And also, we will pay attention to video standards. The default setting is PAL. And also for video print, we make the default is USB printer. Freeze time settings you can available here. And to remember that we will select the white balance memory to make the white balance automatically saved in our processor. And then we'll come to F2, general setting. In this interface, you can type the hospital name and also you can import the logo of the hospital. But do remember that the format of the picture you're going to import it is GPG, BMP or PNG. And also for the time, you can do settings here. You can click the narrow arrow up and down to change the date and also you can select the type of the time and here is for the different uh, selection of language you can select English, Spanish, Portuguese and Chinese F3 contextual mode this page is mainly for the setting for report printer the default printer is USB printer when you find the right model of the printer, you can select here, it is a preset driver for the printer. You can select one of them and then press OK, click OK to save the settings. And also, if you choose network printer, you have to deal with these IP settings. Finally, F4 is for DICOM setting, you can do the settings to connect with the DICOM of the hospital. When you finish all the settings, to remember that, click save. And then yes, that means you save all the settings. And then F2 in the keyboard is to set the work mode. We click the F2 button in the keyboard or click private mode on the 8th screen to display the mode setting as should in the display. Here we will find the enhancement, image enhancement and color enhancement should in the front panel of the processor. We have three levels and in different levels we have eight type. You can select as the wish. Color RGB means red, blue, and coral. You can select through click the narrow arrow to select the different type. Zoom also have three different levels. In each level, you can select make them 1.2 time, 1.4 time, and also it can reach four times at maximum. But usually we make it. 1, 1.2, and 1.4. That's enough. For more information, you can click this icon and you will see this is the setting for the four remote control buttons in our grid. Usually, we will keep it as the default setting as the biggest one zero for freeze. 1, 2, 3, you can select as you wish. But we recommend you to keep the default setting. When you finish all settings, press load and then all the settings will save automatically. And now we come to how to make order list and how to edit and print the report. First of all, press F3 on the keyboard. We come to the order list. This list is for the patients who make appointment with the doctors and to be examined. Add information of the patient. You can make ID as you wish and make the name. 
and then select the gender that of the both you can enter in the number and the, the age was automatically calculated exam term and applicant so you save it you will find in this order list this patient the information has already been saved you double click double click the right side of the mouse the patient information was shown in the left side of the interface and then you do the procedure and you save some image those images and the videos are automatically saved in the right side of the monitor by the way how to record the video in the keyboard there's the three three buttons tell us record rec pause and stop you just press record and then you will find in the right corner of the monitor there is a timer to show the time of the recording and then when you finish that you just press stop and to remember the three different three different buttons for video recording is on the right side of the keyboard if you want to stop it press the stop button and then you'll find the video also automatically saved in the right side okay when the procedure is finished and we save some images then we directly press F12 F12 there is a two ways to enter the report edition interface the first one is directly click this icon this icon in the down corner of right side you can directly click this icon or you can press F12 see this is a report edit and the patient name automatically saved here name A number 01 and age and applicant right now we can select image we just save two images double click it and then we add body marker and you can select the arrow or point as you wish you can point it here and you can select the organ name this is the completed one of the image you can put body marker and the name of the organ and then we come to another one also double click it at body marker and also put the uh, organ name on site and then you save it we save successfully if you want to enter the report again the report they did interface again you also take the same way press F12 you'll find that we have put the diagnostic image in this line in this line you can put six or eight images as you wish and then we come to view of the exam we have some templates here if it is normal just to press normal you will find that the preset tablets automatically typed it into this blank area and then you can preview F8 you will find this template and this one this hospital name is changeable you can type your own hospital name and you can add suggestions and conclusion here here is F1 print if the system connected with the video printer USB printer just press it it can directly print it out and also if save it and how to find this edit the report and the videos and image how to find those documents you just come to 
f3 and then f11 patient list you will find this folder was created with the name of the patient name you double click it you will find the report the video the images are inside right now if you want to export it you just connect to the flash with the device as we mentioned before you put the flash in the USB port and then you just select them all or select one of them as you wish and then press export then it automatically imported to the USB flash you will find it copying and imported completed successful one two three four that means all the necessary documents was successfully imported to your flash and then you click OK you exit and you're waiting for the next procedure